वेलकम बैक सो एज यूशल वी आर कंटिन्यूंग वि क्वेश्चन पेपर सांपल पेपर सोल्यूशन ओके सो वी हव कंप्लीटेड पार्ट वन पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री एंड पार्ट फोर सो टूडे वी आर गोयिंग वि पार्ट फाइव सो टूडे द टापिक सेलेक्टेड इज मेन्सुरेशन मेन्सुरेशन सो वील बी डूइंग सम इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टापिक मेन्सुरेशन सो हियर इज युअर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो वॉट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज The diagonals of a rhombus measure four centimeter and six centimeter. Find the area in square centimeter. Four options are also given to you. So you have to find out the area of a rhombus when two diagonals are given to you. So let us understand what is a rhombus. Okay, it's very easy question. So we have a rhombus like this. All four sides of a rhombus will be equal. All four sides of the rhombus will be equal, and in this particular question, what is given? The diagonals measure four centimeter and six centimeter. So we will take this four centimeter and this is six centimeter. Let us name it as A B C D. Let us name it as A B C D. So we have B D equal to four centimeter, B D equal to four centimeter, and A C is equal to six centimeter, which is given in the question. You need to find out what is the area. So this much you need not to write in your exam. You have to understand what is a rhombus. What are the property of a rhombus? Then we have the direct formula. Apply the formula and find out the answer. So those who don't know what is a rhombus, for them I am explaining it. The area of a rhombus is given by the formula. Area of a rhombus. Area of a rhombus is given by the formula half into D1 into D2 that is equal to area. What is D1 and D2? D1 and D2 are the diagonals of the rhombus. So D1 is given to you that is 4 centimeter and D2 diagonal 2 is given to you 6 centimeter. Put the values here in this formula and find out the answer. When you put it here, this will become half into 4 into 6. 4 into 6 24. 24 into half will be equal to 12 cm square so the area of this particular diagonal uh, this particular rhombus will be equal to 12 cm accordingly from the given options you can mark the correct option so understand what is a rhombus what are the properties of rhombus these type of questions are only asked in your ibps exam these are all repeated questions okay A rhombus different different shapes we will have to study so understand the property and any question comes related to rhombus now you can easily find out area of a rhombus is given by half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 diagonal 1 and 2 are given to you further if you want to explain it you can say bd is 4 cm so you can take 2 here and 2 here because one more property for diag uh, for the rhombus diagonals will bisect each other so they equally bisect equally uh, divide and second is 6 cm so you can take 3 here and 3 here so this will become a right angled triangle because this angle will be always 90 degree so these all are the different properties we will be using in the case of a rhombus okay so this way you can easily find out the area of a rhombus accordingly you can mark the correct option okay please note it okay let us go to the next question so the next question is here on your board what's the question if the length of a rectangle is increased by 20 percentage and its breadth is decreased by 10 percentage what will be its effect on its area a b c d four options are also given to you you are increasing the length by 20 percentage and you are decreasing the breadth by 10 percentage so what way it will affect its area for example it is talking about what is talking about a rectangle so when we talk about a rectangle we have a rectangle like this having length l and breadth b so its area is given by a is equal to l into b a rectangle having length l and breadth b its area is given by l into b is the area in this particular case what happens in this particular case the length is increased by 20 percentage so a new rectangle will be like this having a length increased by 1.2 like its 20 percentage is increased so initially if it is 1l 20 percentage increase means what 20 percentage increase means the new length will be 1.2l and its 
breadth is decreased by 10 percentage. So 10 percentage decrease means from 1 you decrease 10 percentage. So the new breadth will be 0 0.9 B. So now what will be the new area? New area will be equal to 1.2 L into 0 0.9 B. So when I multiply 12 nines are we have 108. So 1.08 LB. Initially we got L area is equal to what? LB. A new area will be equal to what? 1.08 LB. What is the percentage increase? 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is the percentage increase. 0 0.8 the percentage increase means what? 8 percentage increase. 8 percentage increase. So, when the length is increased by 20 percentage and the breadth is decreased by 10 percentage, the new rectangle will have area 8 percentage more than the original rectangle. So, this type of questions are also very very common. They may ask questions either increasing or decreasing the length or increasing or decreasing the breadth. So, it is all relative comparisons. Initially, we have L into B is a formula to find out the area of a rectangle. So, when you increase or decrease the length or breadth of a rectangle, accordingly, you will get a new area. Compare the new area with the original area to find out what is the increase or decrease in, the, in percentage. Okay. Accordingly, you can find out and mark the correct option. Please note it. So let us see the next question. So the next question is here on your board. What's the question? The ratio between the length and breadth of a rectangular plot is 7 is to 3. If the perimeter of that rectangular plot is 840 meters, what is its length? A, B, C, D, four options are also given to you. So the length and breadth are in the ratio 7 is to 3. So whenever we have questions like this, let us take the length and breadth in the ratio 7 is to 3. So 7x will be the length and 3x will be the breadth. So 7 is to 3. Whenever we have 7 is to 3, whenever a ratio is given to you, we will take it is in the form of 7x and 3x. If the ratio is 5 is to 4, then we will take it as 5x and 4x. If the ratio is given to you 8 is to 7, then 8x and 7x. Whatever ratio is given to you, accordingly we can take the length and breadth. And the perimeter is also given to you. So perimeter is what? The sum of all four sides. Here it is 7x means here also it will be 7x. Here it is 3x means here also it will be 3x. So perimeter P is equal to 7x plus 7x plus 3x plus 3x. 7 plus 7, 14. 14 plus 6, 20. 20x is given to you. How much in the question? 840 meters. 840 meters. So from here you can find out what is x. x is equal to 840 by 20. You can cut 0 and 0 and 84 by 2 you got 42. So you got the value of x. x is equal to 42. What we need to find out here? We need to find out the length of that rectangular plot. So length is 7x. So length L is equal to 7x, that is 7 into 42. So you can say the correct answer is 294. Accordingly, you can mark the correct option. So calculation part is not tough. You have to understand what is asked in the question. Accordingly, proceed and mark it. Once you practice it with more and more questions, you can definitely increase your speed and easily you can crack all these type of questions. Kindly note it.